Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding median employee salary and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Google interviews over the past couple of years, right? So let's jump right in. We are given a table called employee with three different columns, ID, company and salary. ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table indicates the company and the salary of one employee. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the median salary of each company and the order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have an employee table for three different companies, right? Company A, B and C, right? Now let's see what the median salary will be. Right, so for company A, right, so how many rows do we have for company A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So obviously, if there are 6 rows, then the third row, that is middle 2 rows, is going to be the median salary, right? So the third row and the fourth row, after we assign this in or arrange this in a ascending manner, right? So row 1 is going to be this one, 15. Row 2 is going to be 341, right? Row 3 is going to be 451 and row 4 is going to be 513, right? And then row 5 is this and row 6 is this. So 451 and 513, so basically these two rows should be the median salaries for company A. Similarly for company B, again there are 6 and then you find the median one. For company C, there are 5, right? So obviously the third row after arranging the salary in ascending order is going to be the median salary and if you look at the output it is going to be the same right so for company a we have two salaries the median one for b again two salaries and for c one right so how do we calculate this median right so one of the ways which we can do it and which comes to mind right away is using the window functions because for each of the companies right we need to calculate the median salary so what we can do is from this table employee table we can partition by the companies and then order by salary in ascending order right and then rank them right so what will this give so it will say okay so the least salary is going to be a rank one and then the next one and the next one okay so what is the most basic way of you know calculating a median if you are given a set of numbers right so what we will do is we will first arrange those numbers in ascending order and then based on you know how num how many numbers do we have right to know whether the number of numbers that are given is even or odd right and based on that our formula changes right so for even number then the median is basically n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1 right and if it is odd then it is n plus 1 and then whole thing is divided by 2 so if there are six numbers right after ascending uh, after arranging it in ascending order then n divided by 2 that is 6 divided by 2 that is third one and n divided by 2 plus 1 that is 6 divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to 4 right so the third and the fourth one val fourth values are basically the median but if let's say it is odd right if n is odd let's say it's 7 then 7 plus 1 that is 8 divided by 2 that is the fourth value is going to be the median right so let's go ahead and start building this and it will be more clear right so from this table called employee what we are doing is let's keep all the three columns and then create a fourth column where we are ranking for each company from uh, like in ascending order the salary right now we can use three different functions row number rank and dense rank here i'm going ahead with row number because it has a unique property that even though two rows have equal values it is going to assign a different rank to it right and that is what we need so even if you have you know uh, uh, num same numbers you need to assign different ranks to it so that is satisfied by the ranking function row number so we write row number right and then since this is a window function we write the over clause always whenever you have a window function you write the over clause and then what do we need to do for each company and then order by salary so we write partition by company and then order by salary and in by default in ascending order and let's alias this as rank 
right then what we can do is we can also count because for calculating the position remember n divided by 2 uh, or n plus 1 divided by 2 you know to calculate the rank we need to know that n value right so for each company we need to know the number of salaries so what we can do is we can also create another column which counts that right and since id is a primary key so non-null unique values so what we can do is again we can use count as a window function so count the ids and then since we are using it as a window function we can write over right and partition by the company column right so and let's alias this as you know whatever number or n right so we have this now let me just run this obviously this is not complete so it is not going to be the correct answer but let me run this okay so we have these values right so if you look at it right so uh, the first column is id company salary rank and n right so id 3 company a you know this this is the salary and then this is the rank one because 15 is going to be the first one and there are total six right so we have for company a one two three four five and six right and then it starts company b so now once we have this what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression and try to identify this rows based on the n values right so how we can do that let me store this in a common table expression so with ct as and this entire thing goes into parentheses now from this common table expression how do we know and how do we keep only those rows where or which basically is representing the median for that company okay so if we do this right so where rank between right rank between n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1 right so why is this going to take care of both the even as well as the odd values see if they for company a right so for company a we know that the third so obviously after we uh, you know give the give them row number right so the third and the fourth rank is basically going to be the median for company a right so for company a how many salaries do we have we have six right so when i say when rank between n divided by 2 and n divided by 2 plus 1 so it will take okay 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then 6 divided by 2 plus 1 is going to be 4 so when rank is between 3 and 4 and you remember that between also takes these value into account so it includes the values that you write right so it will write okay when rank is between 3 and 4 including 3 and 4 right so you return those numbers right so for this it is going to return so this is going to be rank 3 and this is going to be rank 4 for company a right so it is going to return these two rows similarly for b now for c right so for c there is n is equal to 5 so it will be 5 divided by 2 that is between 2.5 and so 2.5 plus 1 3.5 now between 2.5 and 3 for now, and rank can only take what numbers integer values right positive integer value so 1 2 3 4 5 so basically what it what lies between 2.5 and 3.5 3 right so for odd numbers wherever the number of salaries are odd right you know it, it is going to take the that number and it is taking into account that okay this is the odd numbers odd number of salaries we have so you see like it this line is taking care of both when it is even so you it remembers to keep two rows and when it is odd it remembers to keep the correct one row right and then once we have this then what is required in the output id company and salary so we return id company and salary right since we don't need to order by anything let's you know go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how i do it again kind of a tricky question but if you you know just know about how we can and what is the very basic nature of calculating median then th this is you know not a very tough question all you need to understand is that you need to know to calculate median you need to know the number 
right uh, because you need to identify whether it is even or odd and then based on that you can make the determination and write the code such that you know it takes care of both the even and odd values right and this is how we do it let me know if you have a very a better way or a more efficient way of doing this let let the solution be in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video